All right. Hello, everyone. It is Mr. Punkwist from Heavy Ammo Unbound. We just got so lucky. Uh, and here is something a little bit different. This is Dead Link. Dead Link is a roguelike first-person shooter that uh, came out in early access. I've been uh, I've been kind of following it casually since uh, June when I saw it announced at E3, like a, an indie Z3 thing. And uh, I love it. I've been playing it since it came out. Uh, and I wanted a and I wanted an excuse to play it uh, for high. And B. I also just, uh, I feel like Hyde does not have enough, or does not have a lot of PvE shit on our channel. It's mostly PvP shit. Uh, barring, I guess, the, like, well, I don't know, do you count give it as a PvP? Or as a PvE? I don't know. But either way, uh, I, I feel like we don't have a lot of, like, PvE shit, and, uh, I don't see us doing any long-form Let's Plays of story content. I don't know, unless, like, Joel wants to do fucking Ragnarok, uh, God of War Ragnarok or something. Uh, or I guess if I find a story game I really like. So, uh, but yeah, besides that, besides that weird tangent, uh, I just want to fucking play the game because I like it. I think it's, like, super fast-paced. It, it, like, hits the itch of, like, a fucking fast-paced first-person shooter roguelike. I love roguelikes, but I'm bad at them because I just, uh, they, they come from different genres that I don't usually play a lot. I think Hades is the only roguelike I, I, uh, I think Hades is the only roguelike I've actually beaten before, uh, and it was only once. Uh, do, do, do. I like the homie projectiles. But yeah, Hades is the only roguelike I've, uh, I've really beaten before. I've played a bunch of them. i played Dead Cells. i played fucking, uh, uh, uh what's it called? What's the game with the fucking knights? I played that for a fucking series on my channel a while back. Like, my old channel. Not high associated channels, that I would say. But, yeah. Uh, I played Dead Cells. I'm trying to, I'm trying to think of the fucking... Uh, I played a fucking... The PS5 exclusive one that I can't remember the name of right now. My brain is just fucking mush right now, apparently. Uh, yeah, so I played a bunch of them, and I do like them. It's just... Uh, I usually suck at them, or they usually have a different gameplay style to what I'm used to. But this game is literally, like... Th this game... It, it was made for me. It's just a fast-paced first-person shooter. Well, a first person shooter with uh with like aw movement speed uh weird fun abilities like so even though I, that was a terrible excuse for an example of that uh, or this got decoy this uh this character i guess we'll start talking about the characters real quick the two characters am i stuck hello oh wait haha -ha. saved by the translocator holy shit if i was the other guy uh, that would not have been fun uh but yeah uh this character kind of like a uh, an assassin Really hard hitting single uh, single shot weapon, and then the railgun, and um, and yeah, got teleportation abilities, got decoy stuff like that. While the other guy is a uh, is a shotgunner with a rocket launcher who uh, who got who's got the uh, gosh darn, uh, you know, more he's a, he's explo heavy weapon specialist. They both have the dash though, which is pretty nice. I, I was really worried about that. Ah, actually, that's yeah, they both have the dash, but um, like the really cool thing about the shotgunner, one of the things that, that I fucking liked about the shotgunner way more originally than this guy before I started using this guy more was the fact that uh, the, sh the fucking the shotgunner comes with a grapple hook as opposed to the translocator which is the teleport thing uh, and you know I love me some fucking grapple hook action to get back to I guess the conversation I was trying to have about 20 minutes ago it's also for the record really hard to talk in this game especially in the later rooms uh, just for the sheer fact that the the enemy density becomes a lot more dense and the um, the people, things you fight become a lot harder to uh, to really manage well, not harder to manage, because obviously then the game would be unbeatable. And uh, this is one of the first roguelites that I've been, like, I want to say three or four times now. That's not, for the record, that's not, like, some amazing feat. There's only two, two like, worlds uh, so far in the game, because it is so early access. So it's not like I'm, uh, I'm not, like, some sort of fucking FPS savant. But, uh, you know, I'm still proud of it. And the reason why I said I was so lucky at the beginning of this is because... Uh, is because the, uh, the... Corrosive on this hand cannon makes the first boss uh, probably the most oops probably the most trivial uh, boss fight of all time. Like it is fucking oh into the gungeon, that's another fucking <laughs> roguelite I played. Holy shit, I'm so fucking all over the place this uh, this commentary. The arc makes it or the uh, the corrosive makes this uh, makes this fight it makes the first boss fight a fucking breeze. So hopefully I can show that off. I'm a little bit rusty in the game. Uh, I have been deep in. Uh, deep in the modern warfare uh so i'm kind of not used to mouse keyboard right now but I, I still think i can get this done because like i said the uh the corrosive makes this easy clap and i hope i can get to the second world just for the sheer fact that the second world is way more fun they, they have this fucking guy with a riot shield that runs at you and then it's got the hammer and if you get them both at the same time you can fucking like uh what's it called like teleport into them stun them both and then shoot them from the back with the railgun it's so it's so much fun like this game like the combos you can do with these weapons in this game are so much fun to do Especially if you can get some really good fucking setups. 
and this is like this is just like the fucking early early release like shit like I, I can't wait to see like what what they're gonna add it sounds sponsored but it's really not i just was really excited about this game when i saw it announced there's a there's an ability that lets you reset your dash whenever you do like anything uh and that i'm not gonna lie that's become kind of a crutch for me i dash way too much i did the same thing in advanced warfare so i'm not really that surprised but um yeah i dash way too much that's one thing i need to uh need to learn right now this guy there we go i gonna say he should be dead like six times over but i just was not hitting my shots boop nope oh come on dinkies i need my dinkies there we go but I think the one thing that I'm not crazy about for this game right now is the fact that it is $15 and we only get pretty much two two levels of a roguelike. Uh, there is like an, an incredibly massive upgrade tree and uh, like two characters, but uh, I don't know. And I guess there is also an update to Sever, but either way. Well, it was $15 on sale actually, so I don't know what it is now. I should probably check that. Or maybe I'll put it in the uh, in the uh, editing. Maybe Editor Punkless will handle that. You got me, buddy? I haven't talked to you in a while. Okay. What we need to do is we need to focus on this dude, because this dude is causing me hassle. Also, another thing, uh, if you didn't like my fucking keyboard clacking in uh, in random roulettes and other shit like that whenever we play uh, anything on PC, uh, you're going to hate it in this game. The amount of button presses I make per second in this game, uh, even the ones that I don't really need to, uh, is honestly astounding. So, uh, yeah. Maybe turn down keyboard, or turn down um, game sound for this. That was a, That was a nice little streak right there. Uh, what do I want? How much money do I have? 375. I'm going to just skip the shop, get to go straight to credits. Uh, I'll get one more chance at the shop right before the boss fight anyway, so I'm not really that worried about going to the shop. Hopefully, before uh, we get to the boss fight room, I can show off a challenge room as well. Those are really cool. Uh, yeah. Arello. I really just want to... Uh, my goal, I guess, for... Uh, I'm not... like. I don't want to make this a series. I just kind of wanted to play this game. I had the urge to play, and uh, I, I need an excuse, so that was the whole PvE thing that I talked about earlier in the game. But, uh, like, I guess my goal... Oh, fuck, hold on. How about these fucking people? So the, these geishas, geishas, I never know how to pronounce that word. Uh, they're, they're fucking terrible. They teleport in front of you, nothing personal, kid you. Uh, except they do, like, fucking half your uh, goddamn shields if you're, if you're not uh, careful. And they usually spawn in threes, so I'm kind of concerned where the other one is right now. But luckily, when you stun them, you can actually kill them a lot easier. That, 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 that's a trade-off, though. They, uh, they fall like paper if you can actually hit your shots. And these samurai, or, uh, sumo wrestler guys can't shoot them from the front, obviously. You gotta make, uh, what's it called? Stun them, and then get them behind. Well, technically you can shoot them from the front, but, um, it doesn't do that much damage. But yeah, so I think, uh, my, my goal, I guess, uh, this will be kind of like the old school, or like, this is kind of like how we did, uh, how I used to do Split Gate before Split Gate basically became a fucking bi-monthly series. Uh, I'll just fucking play it whenever either a new update comes out or I just want to talk about something. This is also, yeah, this is like, as, as hard, as crazy as it sounds right now, uh, this is a really good game for me to just fucking talk about shit if I want to talk about shit. So I should have re-rolled, damn it. Um, actually, yeah. Let's double up. Yeah, so like, new characters come out. If a new map comes out, there's supposed to be an update for this game in December. So whatever that update is, oh, Keisha. You know what? I've had enough of you. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. You can't fucking uh, teleport to, uh, to to big boys. Makes sense, but also, goddammit. I suck. No. Okay. Oh, that was not what I wanted to do. Oof. Talk about fumbling the whole the fucking bag. Oh my god, come out. No. Listen. I knew, I knew, I fucking, I wanted to do a video for this thing when it first came out in, like, uh, the beginning of October, but I decided against it because I wasn't entirely sure if I wanted to do, um, uh, if I wanted to, like, uh, upload it or talk about it or play it. Uh, I fucking should've. I should've done it when I was still fucking kind of hot at this game, because right now I'm very much not at this game. On the bright side, though, I have a couple of upgrades, uh, from playing the game so gosh darn much that allow me to, oh, Jesus, uh, that allow me to, um... To get shield back, as you can see, after uh, after completion of rooms. Oh hey, we get, we kind of got a challenge room uh, unintentional. So challenges room, challenge rooms, uh, pretty self-explanatory. They add challenges to the room, like this one. I need to destroy these uh, these cube things blocking the uh, the power balls, the sea balls. I think is what they're called. I can't remember. But either way, uh, we, we we get one of those. Uh, there's also challenges that are just like survive the room. Uh, those are personally my favorite, just because uh, it lets you really uh, like focus in on your movement and uh, and gameplay. No. Then you got um, 
I think there's one more challenge room. I don't think I've gotten it yet, though. I don't go in challenge rooms very often. Uh, mostly for the sheer fact that I just, like, uh, th there's a timer. If you can look in the bottom, uh, right under the, uh, the where the weapons are, that tells you uh, how long you've been playing. And I've been casually trying to uh, speedrun this game. Oh, speaking of boss fights. But yeah, I've been trying casually trying to speedrun this game, so uh, I've been I've been trying to go as fast as possible. And challenge rooms do kind of tend to uh, to last longer just because you're sitting there for either a certain amount of time or you're uh, having to do shit that isn't just killing people, which uh, you can usually get done a lot faster. Uh, but yeah, here's the shop. Let's uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. do that, and we'll get rid of that for this. For this, I need shields. Uh, grenade that I can put that. Let's refill our health. Let's refill our nades. This should, again, I have the setup right now with just this pistol, this gross pistol. I have the setup to just fucking slap this guy around, or this robot around. So hopefully I do. Uh, it would be so very me to uh, to shit the bed after I've beaten this guy 60,000 times. So uh, let's find out what happens. So you can see from the glowing, this fucker, uh, this fucker advertises a weak spot like a fool. Like a gosh damn fool. But this isn't the hard part. This is the hard part right here. Never mind. Oh god. I should be using my abilities. Bungie? There we go. Okay. Whew. What the fuck? Oh, I just... So I did die. Okay, so I forgot I had a ability on that lets me revive one once per run. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, so yeah, I guess I did shit the bed. Listen. Shitting the bed just means that I have another excuse to actually play this game. Because uh, when, I'm, when I'm warmed up, I feel a lot better at this game. It, I just flow. It, it's it's a very free-flowing, like, momentum-based game. Like, you you really, once you get into it, like, you uh, you just kind of fucking, you just fucking fly, man. And the only problem is I just am not into it because I've been playing a game that requires me to sit still around corners fucking mounted on walls to fucking get any sort of uh, damage done. That's another thing. This game, uh, this is going to be my fucking safety game during the Modern Warfare a year. Because holy shit. Oops. Dumbass. No. <laughs> God damn it. I whiffed it twice. Whatever. Um, yeah, this, this is absolutely going to be my, one of my uh, safety games for the Modern Warfare 2 year. Because going from that game to uh, really any game <laughs> is just a breath of fresh air. Uh, we'll do headshot damage. Oh, that's cool. I didn't even know you could do that. Damn. That would have been way helpful like 60 runs ago. I still don't know what skill power actually is. Oh, boosted damage done by skills and grenades. Never mind. I, I'm stupid. I, I just don't read. If you couldn't tell by now, I don't read anything. That's why it took me way too long to realize how bad the attachment system was in Modern Warfare 2. Because I just never fucking looked, actually looked into how, how you earn shit. Yeah, so this is the... this is the uh, Personally, out of, out of the two levels, uh, I like this like factory level a lot more than the uh, the outside like Cyberpunk Street level. Just for the sheer fact that A... Uh, if I've gotten this far, it's most likely because I have this uh, corrosive uh, ability on, and that thing makes this uh, area breeze. Uh, but B, the robots are just more fun to fight, in my opinion. They uh, they walk slower, which gives you more opportunities to uh, to, to do shit to them, like m finesse around them. They uh, they cluster up a lot more, it feels like, so it gives you more to like uh, more combo uh, opportunities. And uh, they're uh, they're like boss fight characters, like they're sumo and geisha, geisha, geisha. Uh, are way more fun to fight because you're just way more fucking active. Like, imagine the fucking sumo wrestler on steroids, and that's the fucking hammer guy. And that makes him so much fun to fight. Especially if you're in the zone and you're just fucking... You're flying around. You can barely touch you. It feels so fucking great, dude. This is one of those games that you, like... That I... Like, I hope speedrunners fucking, play, like, run this game. Because this is one of those games that's gonna look so fucking great when, like, a... An actual, like, good player plays it. Not good player. Yeah, I guess good player. But anyway. We haven't seen the, uh... I forgot what they're called, the, the Man of War yet. That's what I've been calling him, because it's like a it's a big ass fucking floating guy in the in the air. But uh, when I first saw him, I thought it was a giant jellyfish. So I, I call him the Man of War now. That's another thing about this game. This game has some uh, like surprisingly deep uh, like actual story in it for being a roguelike. Like uh, there, there's a whole codex where you can read about all the fucking enemies you face and all the fucking like corporations and shit that are like running shit and why you're even doing this in the first place. Uh, here's a little. Story spoiler, I guess you're uh, you're not actually doing this right now. This is all fucking program. This is all you're in the matrix right now, practicing for when you actually do the real heist. I thought that was really cool. I thought that was like a cool little concept, and also uh, makes sense why you would be, um, you know, like getting all this video game stuff. Like I don't think video games ever need to really like justify themselves, but if they have to, I like when they uh, when they have sort of an idea for it. Uh, that was a wasted perk. I'll, I'll sell that to the store when I find the next door. Oh hey, look, there's Man of Wars. 
Come here, buddy. Yeah. Those are a lot harder when I forget about them, and they end up uh, fucking costing me like half my health because uh, they just chunk me with those little bombs. Three deaths and chunk me. Um, another thing I kind of like about this game is that the uh, the runs are. Uh, oh, hey, there's a challenge. Perfect. We'll do that next. But the uh, the runs are are they're beefy but not too beefy. Like Hades does get kind of long because obviously it has more levels. Uh, but this game, it's like a nice like max twenty minutes if you're fast and like thirty minutes if you're slow. I think the first one I beat it, it took me like I want to say thirty minutes. Wait, what? Oh, this is a four vert. Jesus Christ, I'm really shooting the bed here. But yeah, so uh, I I think the 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 levels they have right now are make it like feel chunky without feeling like you know too overly long. I would obviously like more levels, though. Obviously. That would be nice. I should be using my decoy more. I get sometimes way, way too caught up with the uh, with the gunplay in this game. Just like in fucking, uh, like, any game with abilities. I figured out abilities so many times. I never pop supers in Destiny. Fucking don't even get me started on Overwatch. Well, actually, that's a lie. Overwatch, I spam shit too much, but that's a different problem. Oh, here's one of the shields, guys. Uh, right shield, right shield, Remy. Forgot his name. I, I know they have an official title. But they're not right, she'll wear me forever. Uh, fucking really fun to fight. Really aggressive. Look at this fuck. But easy clap when you just, uh, you know, use your abilities. I would like to know who's shocking me right now. Is there, is there a bot? What's going on? I'm lost. I'm confused. No, I didn't mean to teleport you. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, Remy. I'm gonna choke. Oh my god. Has Mr. Chokeless returned from the depths? No. No, he's not. Or maybe he has. There's still time, I guess. Who is shooting all these fucking electricity at me? Am I missing a fucking enemy? Is it the bots? I don't think the bots... I never, didn't know the bots did that. I guess it makes sense, because in the other level, they were, uh, like, laser... Fire red, fire red lasers. Late, late, fuck it. Oh, you know what? I just realized that was a fucking challenge room challenge, wasn't it? I forgot I even went to a challenge room. Okay, so there's the other challenge. I knew there was a third one. There's probably more than that now that I think about it, because I'm pretty sure the one I was thinking of, uh, I haven't seen yet, so. Cool. Challenge. Uh, oh. Oh no, the temp shield. I love the temp shield. Okay, unfortunate. Either way. Oh no, you know what? I want this bitch in here and that down there. Okay. I do hope at one point you can uh, upgrade all these to be fours. I know that'd be kind of overpowered, but uh, just for like the the funness of just being that overpowered, be able to run like sixty different four mods, like holy shit, that'd be so much fun. But again, I understand that they don't want to do that. Maybe that'll be a special character ability. It's like this guy can cut, spawns in with just his fist, but he gets a billion different extra mods. I don't know. If you're looking for character concept ideas, don't come to me. Oh, there's Hammer Guy. Yes, I love Hammer Guy. I love Hammer Guy because of how fucking like, look at this. Look at this shit. He is just unrelenting with his push. And it allows you to, uh, to fucking really, like, spread your wings on, on fucking movement. You really get to fucking movement dip the shit out of him. Punch. And slight. Slight? Slight. Uh, what are we looking at? 717. Let's go shopping. Also, so I can sell these, uh, these mods. Okay. Bam. Out of here later uh next minute fuck it sure it's not like there's anything it's not like there's a uh, it's not like there's anything else on the market to really fuck a purchase uh fuck it we'll get corrosive grenades too corrosive isn't really i don't think corrosive is the best for this uh the second boss fight i think the best is fire don't quote me on that though because it, it, it is a guy so or i guess spoiler but it's a guy so uh i'm pretty sure men <laughs> i'm pretty sure men are uh are weak to fire don't quote me on that though he is technically a robot, I guess, so he could be also corrosive as well. Oh, we got Hammer and the fucking, uh, Riot Shield Remy. Is that what I called him? I think so. Excuse me. This is, like I said, when it starts getting a little bit more serious. I start having to focus a little bit more. I also should be using... I, I always fucking forget about my secondary in this game. I don't know why. I just... I have too much fun. Well, actually, that's a lie. It's only on this fucking hunter guy, because the other one has a rocket, and that rocket is incredibly fun to use. Later, baby. Did I, did I already kill the hammer guy? I don't even remember killing him, so... Oh, unless that's... Oh, no. That's Remy. I should have said Reginald. Reginald fucking... Reginald Riot Shield would have been way better. Damn it. Maybe if I fucking... Oh, look. It's... 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 
Reginald Riot Shield. Uh, that's the first time I made that joke tonight. Or today. Tonight? I don't know. You decide. Get out of here, Man of War. I brought you too heavy. Sorry. Oh. Oh, man, I'm shitting the bed. Okay. Whew. All right, there we go. We're at the boss fight. Time to uh, time to fuck him up. Let's see, uh, every weapon applies weak. Fuck it. Let's apply weak, and let's do that so we can do uh, that. I guess we could download another one, but I'll take translator. Trans well, translocator. Actually, that's a lie. Fuck. Do I have enough money? Uh, I do. Okay. I'm gonna move that down there because I use my decoy a lot more in this boss fight than translocator. Uh, cause there, this, this guy. Whew, this this is an aggressive motherfucker. This is how I wish every single COD player played a model for two. It'd make the game, like, infinitely better. Hey, buddy. Don't let me, uh, please, don't, uh, don't embarrass me. Your, uh, your, your buddy outside already did, and that, uh, that made me look way worse when I was trying to look good at this game. I was good, I was trying to low-key brag about this game, but, uh, instead I ended up shitting the bed outside and having to use my fucking undying token. So if you could just fucking let me, let me mollywop you, that'd be great. Come on. Ugh, hold on, decoy. You're one shot. Let's go. Huh. That one's a lot more, uh, tougher. That one's a lot tougher than the, the first boss fight, obviously, because that's kind of how uh, boss fights work. But uh, yeah, uh, like I said, this game is not that difficult when you uh, when you get used to the gameplay. Yeah, so that's a run, twenty minutes. That's that's respectable, I think. I think my oh my best time is seventeen minutes. That's uh, fucking pog. I forgot to tell you that. Uh, let's go to the hub real quick, and then we'll fucking end it there. But, yeah, so that was dead link. This is the hub, by the way. This is what I was talking about. The codex. You can see all the fucking shit, all the people, all the all the things, all the opponents, everyone. Hammer guy, aka Phoenix Pounder. Very cool. Very uh, very deep for a game that's again kind of like in open uh, or early access right now uh yeah still fun though these are two characters we know by the way uh, and here's the um here's the upgrades this this tree is a lot bigger than i really expected from this game to be honest i didn't really think there would be a tree well i guess i did because every roguelite has a tree but still a uh, big fan uh some of these buildings are also really fun too uh there's one i was looking for um there we go combat shell available to start a mission that was a little drone i killed at the beginning that gave me the uh, free corrosive that made me basically carry me through the rest of the game uh, it makes the game very easy because you can uh, not only like choose what you want, but also reroll it, so you can pretty much get everything you want on the first run every single time. Uh, so maybe they should change that. Maybe like, well, I guess they'll change it just by the sheer fact of like adding more shit to this game. So if they add more mods and shit. It'll make the uh, pool a lot deeper, which will make it harder to keep getting the same rolls. Either way, uh, I think this game has a lot of potential personally for a roguelike. Uh, it's fast paced. It's fun. It's fucking great to play. Uh, it's a little easy right now, but uh, that could just be changed with time. But overall, fucking ten out of ten. Like I said, I'm going to come back to this game whenever there's updates, whenever there's new things to talk about, or when I just want to fucking play a PvE game instead of a PvP game. If it's fucking 12 p.m. at night, I need to get a video up by 10 a.m. tomorrow morning, and I need to fucking, and I don't want to play goddamn Crucible or Rainbow Light or fucking Opening Swat or whatever, uh, probably come to this game. So maybe see it again in the future. Not, who knows? Anyways, uh, this Mr. Punk was from Heavy Moonbound saying I'll see you next time.